Hey guys, Rob Avis here. I'm just gonna take you through my greenhouse right now. We've just finished cleaning it up and I thought I'd talk a little bit about it. But before I get over there, I wanna make a quick announcement. Today at 4 p.m. Mountain Time, I'm going to be going live on YouTube and you can ask me any question you've got about passive solar greenhouses. Uh, we're launching our passive solar greenhouse course. In fact, it's, it's already launched. We've got a bunch of people in there right now. Um, they're just getting started on the content. Lots of questions coming in the private Facebook group. And I'm just really thrilled to have all these people that are gonna be designing and building their own passive solar greenhouses. So um, we're gonna be using the greenhouse this year to start our seedlings in these wicking beds. You can see the wicking bed videos on our YouTube channel if you haven't already seen them on how to build them out of these IBC totes. Um, but then we're going to be getting rid of them. And uh, I'm actually going to be building this greenhouse into a microgreens greenhouse and we're gonna start selling microgreens commercially this year. This 200 square foot space, which would cost about $5,000 in materials if you built it yourself, probably 10 if you hired someone to do it, can generate between 50 and 80,000 Canadian dollars a year in microgreens if you have the market and the skills to grow microgreens. And we've been growing microgreens for a long time inside, so we're pretty good at it. Um, we're gonna scale it up. The garage next to the uh, greenhouse is going to become our processing center. Um, and we're going to process the microgreens in there and then sell them to the market. Now, um, with this greenhouse course that we're running, it occurred to me that with Canada legalizing cannabis or marijuana, um, these small 200 square foot backyard greenhouses could very easily be used to grow uh, marijuana plants legally. Um, with the release of cannabis or acknowledgement of it as a, as a medicine now, citizens in Canada can, uh, who have a prescription I should say, can grow up to four plants. And there's gonna be some rules and regulations around where these plants can be grown, how many of them, I think it's four is the number, um, they have to be locked off. And to my knowledge, most people are gonna be going to hydroponic stores, growing this stuff hydroponically, and then using copious amounts of energy and grow lights in their basements in order to grow marijuana. And this is gonna cost a lot. It's going to, especially in light, um, it's going to add a lot of humidity to your house and could potentially cause damage. Um, and I'm not saying it can't be done. Lots of people do it all the time, but these passive solar greenhouses are potentially gonna solve that problem. People will be able to lock them up. Um, they can keep them heated. And because they've got the ability to be naturally lit, they could technically grow their cannabis in soil and uh, cut the light cost. And because it's passive solar, the energy cost is gonna be pretty low as well. And they can grow their vegetables and other things in there at the same time. So um, if you're looking to get into passive solar greenhouses um, for that, this, might, this course might be a really great fit for you. Um, but I've had a couple of people write me recently asking if there's an opportunity to design these passive solar greenhouses. And the answer is absolutely. I see a number of different ways that these greenhouses can be designed and implemented into people's backyards, again, to pay the mortgage. Um, and so whether it's designing greenhouses and installing them for people that want to have their own little cannabis garden, um, or if they're looking to do something like what we're talking about, which is growing microgreens at scale. Um, I think there's an opportunity to do those things, but there's also an opportunity to actually be the guy designing and installing them. Having a standard package or several standard packages that um, you could basically have almost pre-built off-site um, and then shipped anywhere in the country. And I have a number of ideas that I share with people in the course on how you can do this. So I think that there's a business for growing, but there's also a business for designing, building, and placing these greenhouses onto people's properties. Um, so again, I'm gonna be going live on YouTube at 4 p.m. Mountain Time today talking about passive solar greenhouses. Um, I'm mostly just gonna be there answering your questions. So if you've got a question about how you could monetize a greenhouse, if you've got questions about how to build one or design one, um, by all means, go for it. Um, bring the questions, I'll bring the answers. Um, if you're interested in the Passive Greenhouse Design course, uh, it's officially launched. Um, if you sign up before tonight at midnight, uh, Mountain Time, then you'll get access to a couple of extra bonuses with me, um, and totally worth it. 
Um, I encourage you to check it out. I'll put a link to the Passive Greenhouse Design course in the show notes below. Click on that, head over there, check it out. If you check it out and you've got any questions about the course, show up here at you, on YouTube at 4 p.m. today and ask me any question you have about the course. I'll happily uh, answer those for you. And uh, we can talk about, again, how to monetize these greenhouses, how to be the guy building, designing and building them, or be the person that's actually using them to grow for your local community, city, town, restaurants, whatever. Okay guys, if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, there's lots of content coming out on greenhouses, microgreens, permaculture in the next little while. Make sure you're subscribed. Hit the like button if you got something out of this video and we'll uh, talk to you guys all real soon. Okay, have a great day. See you at four.